I do now want to talk about the 2022 midterms a little more broadly. Who do you think were the biggest winners and losers this past election day? I think the biggest winners were undoubtedly the Democrats. So the Republicans have pre uh, predicted this big red wave that was supposed to flow throughout the country. And we did not see that. Um, I think there was a negative mandate uh, against Donald Trump and his ilk. Uh, anyone, if you were an election denier, then you saw that you didn't win. So I think about um, Donald Balduck out in, in New Hampshire. I worked for him. I know him. I worked for him when I was in the army years ago out in Europe. He was an election denier and he saw that he was denied his uh, uh, election. Um, you have you have the same thing happening that happened out in Arizona. Now, if you go down into Georgia, you have Senator, Senator War, War, uh, Warnock and uh, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker appeared to have learned his lesson in the debates when he was asked directly, if you lose, are you going to accept your loss? He said unequivocally, yes, I will. So he's looked around and he's he's learned his lesson. And uh, so we'll, it, it's, it, I think that's anybody's race uh, on December 6th. Yeah, that's definitely a tight one we will be looking at. So aside from the election denying, voters really voted against that profoundly. Do you think that's the only reason that this red wave that the GOP touted really never materialized? I think, uh, no, I don't. I think it has a lot to do with January 6th. Above any one human being, above any politician, I think most Americans value democracy and this republic over anything else. And I believe that um, people saw January 6th and Donald Trump's, um, whatever his involvement was in that, uh, as an existential threat to our democracy. And so um, the American people told the politicians that, hey, this is not what we want. This is not what we stand for. And we're not going to stand for it.